A toolpath and cam refers to the strategy that a cutting tool follows to machine a part. Strategies such as roughing, profiling, and drilling require different inputs and settings to machine a feature on a part. Toolpaths apply to the tools listed chronologically above them. Click Create Toolpath. The Toolpath panel includes tabs for Toolpath, Link, Axis, Collision, and MISC for miscellaneous options. The Toolpath tab is where the strategy is defined. The name field generates automatically based on the type selected, but can be overridden with a custom value. If the strategy type is changed, a custom name will persist. Click the Type dropdown to expand it. Options vary based on the tool used. Edges calculates based on wireframe input drive edges. It works without any machining faces. Faces calculates based on input drive bodies. Bodies calculates based on entire input bodies or selected faces. Holes calculates based on input holes. Existing calculates based on existing operations to control how one operation translates to the next. Click the pattern drop-down to select one of the available patterns based on the tool path type selected. With a body's type selected, there are several patterns available. Rough is used to remove large volumes of material. Parallel cuts allow the machining of components with tool path passes that are parallel to each other. Project curves calculate the tool path by projecting curves onto surfaces. Constant Z allows the machining of components with tool path passes that are parallel to a plane depending on the machining direction. Constant Cusp creates an equidistant cut pattern on the machining surfaces. Flatlands are designed for machining true flat areas of components with tool path passes that are offset segments of the flat area boundary. Pencil is designed to clean out fillets and radii. Trochoidal provides sequential component contour machining by trochoidal movements. With certain type and pattern selections, a sub-pattern can also become available. Select the sub-pattern drop-down to expand it. Offset creates multiple cuts on multiple depths that are offset from the machining surfaces. Parallel creates parallel cuts on multiple depths. A machining angle in XY is set to specify which orientation the cuts are parallel to. Adaptive ensures that the cutting conditions remain almost constant which offers great improvements compared to conventional constant offset roughing strategies. This strategy avoids full width cuts by constantly measuring the engagement volume of the tool with material and gradually removing material from the remaining stock. It guarantees a stable load on the tool, which allows an increased material removal rate at higher feed rates and reduces the overall machining time. The high speed toggle is available when the pattern is set to parallel cuts, constant Z, or constant cusp. High speed enables the use of the high speed calculation engine, which is designed for large components. However, it has less flexibility and options. Based on the strategy selections, all possible inputs appear below in individual group boxes and within the additional tabs. Below them is the in process stock checkbox. It is used to preview the stock model from previous operations. This option only works if a previous stock model has been calculated. If not, the initial stock model is displayed. Once the toolpath parameters are refined, click OK to accept. A toolpath needs to be calculated, click Regenerate operation to calculate it. Once regenerated, the preview operation becomes available enabling you to preview the back plot, verify, and simulate. Calculate the resulting stock by clicking Regenerate stock. Once the stock is regenerated, click Show Hide Operation Stock to view it in the graphics area. Check the box to the left of a toolpath to toggle its visibility. Click the ellipsis to access the toolpath's context menu with options to edit, duplicate, suppress, or delete.